전신으로 돌아갑시다 하나님 교회의 사상으로 돌아갑시다 America must return to the true founding spirit of the nation America must return to Godism and absolutely God-centered ideology Reverend Moon had not come to America on some whim and he knew that he would not necessarily be easily understood. Rather, he felt that God had called him to this task. Once in an interview, he was questioned concerning his feeling for America. He was asked, what single American in this century would he select as having been this country's greatest leader? His reply, Martin Luther King. He explained that King was God's chosen champion to fight bigotry and prejudice, proclaiming the equality of all races. He was not just assisting the black people's cause, he was assisting America's cause, bringing the nation closer to God's ideal. God, who raised up a champion like Martin Luther King to awaken this country, can use the champions of all races equally well. Next, Reverend Moon was asked what he saw as being his mission in America. What was his ultimate goal? He said, today my mission is to bring to America a strong awakening to the dangers of communism. You see, I know communism very well. I was in a North Korean communist prison for many years, and they tortured men incredibly. It's hard for Americans even to imagine. President Carter has been facing a great test. My concern is that he might not really understand the communists and their strategy. However, God is using the Carter administration to champion for human rights. If he really pursues that issue, then America will certainly become an ardent defender of the victims of communism. For communism is by far the worst violator of human rights. My first mission is to build a strong America which will have the conviction to stand up against communism in the name of God and in the name of humanity. After the liberation, the Korean Peninsula was dominated by the ideological battle of left and right. Untouched by the warm breeze of detente, the relationship of North and South Korea is still ice cold. In 1968, Reverend Moon created the International Federation for Victory over Communism. The International Federation's goal was to research, criticize, and overcome communist theory and system, and realize the true ideal of mutual living, prosperity, and righteousness. In 1975, as communism expanded rapidly after the defeat of Vietnam War, Blue-eyed foreigners shouting in the streets to save the nation could be seen all over the country. These foreigners were the members of the Unification Church who came from all over the world to participate in the movement. This movement against communism reached its peak in 1975, when one million people gathered at the Save the Nation rally held in Yoido. At the international level, the movement developed into CAUSA. CAUSA was a godism movement with the goal of supporting South America's anti-communism movement. At the time of President Carter, the communization of the world reached its peak. Reverend Moon played a critical role in helping Reagan become president by defeating Carter, the favored candidate. In 1990, the biggest event in the 20th century happened. It was the fall of communism. On April 11, 1991, Reverend Moon met with Soviet Union President Gorbachev.
The meeting was held in a lively and friendly mood. Reverend Moon supported Gorbachev, who was working to bring revolution and reformation at the time. <laughs> The two leaders earnestly discussed about economic cooperation between Korea and the Soviet Union, and also about the peaceful unification of the Korean Peninsula. This hastened the end of the Cold War. Later, Gorbachev visited Reverend and Mrs. Moon in Korea. The smiles on the leaders who put an end to the tragedy of the 20th century were bright. Reverend Moon offered his closing comments to the conference participants, sharing with them his insights on that private conversation with President Gorbachev. And his mission is difficult. It is only in the dark on his side that he can win the victory. This nation will play a central role in God's providence in the coming decade as a religious leader. I firmly believe that a good centered worldview offers the solution of all problems. Atheistic theories centered only on, on, on man being disaster and self-destruction in the end. This is, this is a universal principle to enforce the East and the West. Let us work together to support Glasnost and the Presbyterian in the Soviet Union. Let us work together for lasting world peace. Walls came down and the Cold War ended, he invested in the education and development of the former Soviet bloc. Finally, he returned to his homeland and embraced the very man who had sought to destroy him. This bold initiative brought cultural exchange, economic investment, and the warming of North-South relations.